Good morning. Welcome to Clawfoot Farm. I'm Samantha and whew, it is a glorious, glorious morning this morning. The sun is coming up and just uh, getting in my eyes and face right over the uh, tops of the trees right now. Um, I today am going out into I'm going to say the garden, but I actually just mean out into the field here. Um, and we're going to go foraging today. Um, on our property here, um, see we have our basket and some scissors. So on our property we have some wild growing yarrow and wild growing mullen. And so I'm going to um, come out and pick some of that today. Okay, so this area here has become overrun with mullen. Let's go take a look. So mullen is a biennial, which means it has it takes two years for it to bloom. So this mullen right here that we're looking at is actually two years old. The first year, they look like this. They have very soft leaves. Some people call them flannel plant because of that or bandage plant. Um, people have been known to use this or toilet paper plant as toilet paper or as bandages. Um, those are just some of their common names. And then the second year, the mullen will grow tall and send up this spike of flowers. And the flowers start blooming on the bottom. And then as the season goes on, they will go to seed. There we go. They'll go to seed on the bottom and then continue to bloom. So they don't put out their all of their flowers. Focus. All at once, but they do they have a continual uh, bloom, which is very interesting. So for this mullen, you can harvest flowers, both the flowers and the leaves. The flowers are a little bit more potent, but they are much more tedious to harvest. I like to harvest leaves off of one-year-old plants. The plant is actually working on going to seed and flowering and the energy and the nutrients in that plant are going up to the flowers and up to the seeds. But the one-year-old plants are all working on growing their leaves and root structure. So we will um, harvest the one-year-old plants that have not yet flowered for their leaves because that's where the most nutrients are. Let's go this way. So, now when you are foraging, even when I'm foraging in my, um, in my own yard here, in my own, on my own land, I do not take all 100% of a plant um, unless I would actually pull that plant out if I was going to put a garden here or something. Um, Really, I like to only take probably 25%, maybe even less. I mean, in a field like this, if I took one leaf off of every plant, it would be fine. And that way, you let the plant rejuvenate and live and live on and all of those good things. We have our yarrow and our mullen all picked. We can see them. There we go. And these herbs, today we are going to dry them. And I'll show you what we're going to do to dry them. Ooh, the sun. Um, so, 
it is going to be a gloriously hot day today. So what we're going to do to dry them instead of using the dehydrator is I'm actually going to just put them out on a baking sheet out on an, a table in the sun. Okay, this cannot even be simpler. We have a table that's our outdoor table, which is actually just a folding table with a nice tablecloth on it. And two baking sheets and our herbs. So we're just going to sprinkle our herbs in a single layer out here on our baking sheets. Let's grab our leaves. Here's the mullein leaves. There's the mullein flowers and the yarrow. Oh, hello, ladybug. Ooh, a lot of people have mullein growing. A lot of people have yarrow growing. It's pretty, um, a pretty prolific wild herb. And um, if you see it, um, I'd say go forage and harvest some for your own self. Alrighty, well thank you very much and I will see you later. Bye.